Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Edwin back again for Strictly Comics. And let me just check my uh, <clears throat> YouTube just to make sure we're live. We don't have any technical difficulties or anything like that. And then we can go ahead and get started. I know a lot of you guys are wondering, Edwin, what are you doing doing a show on Thursdays? You don't usually do them on Thursdays. Well, we have a special guest today, and uh, his name is Keith Champagne. He has a very large body of work. He is a writer. He is a penciler, and he is an inker. Um, I'm going to let him introduce himself and a little bit of the things that he's done, but he's basically here to kind of talk a little bit about the Hero Initiative and uh, what we've got going on and and how they've been able to benefit and help him uh, recently. So, Keith Champagne, how are you doing, sir? Hey, Edwin. How you doing, my friend? Great to have you. Glad to have me or whatever. Yeah, I'm glad to have you here, man. I really, I really, really I'm glad am. glad to be here. Um, Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so go ahead and let people who are watching, who's going to be watching uh, on the rewind after it gets uploaded later, um, you know, who you are, what you've worked on, uh, maybe some highlights in your career so they can familiarize themselves with you. Sure. Well, like Edwin said, uh, my name is Keith Champagne. Uh, I've been in the comic book industry full time for 25 years now. Uh, I started in 1994 uh, working for uh, the X-Men office at Marvel. Jumped to DC a couple months later, uh, spent about 20 years working exclusively to DC. And then about the past five years, I've been tomcatting around, you know, work for DC, work for Dark Horse, work for uh, Dynamite. You know, anyone that'll have me, I work for them. Uh, some of the stuff I've done, I mean, recently I'm on the Stranger Things series from Dark Horse. I'm doing a book called Neon Future for a publisher named Impact Theory. Just finished up some detective comics work with Doug Monkey for for DC. Uh, there's always something on my plate, usually two or three things at a time. And that's me. Edwin, you still there? I can't hear you, bud. Actually, what do you, uh, I'm just curious, what do you prefer, writing, inking, penciling? Uh, of the three, if I could write full time forever, that's what I would do. You know, I've, I've written a, a lot of comics and a lot of screenplays outside of the uh, comic industry, and I find it much more creatively satisfying, a lot more. Uh, there's, there's a jigsaw aspect puzzle to writing, kind of building a story out and with theme and character and trying to put it all together and uh, impart some kind of emotion uh, that people can relate to. Uh, when gotcha. Gotcha. Um, that's awesome, man. Uh, and you are actually here to kind of help us out, promote something really special. Um, let me go ahead and acknowledge the chat real quick. Daniel Yabarro, Taco Dan is in the house. Comments hey, for Taco all Dan. people, number one. Yep. Comments for all peoples in the house. We got Sith. Sith. It used to be Sith AF, and he changed his name to Sith.Eyes. He's a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's a tattoo artist. He's in the house. Um, but you are actually here to kind of help us out promoting the... Um, the Hero Initiative, and we're going to talk about that here in a minute and your relationship with them. We have the second annual 2019 Comic Book Community Charity Auction coming up. Uh, week two is actually coming up this Sunday for the Hero Initiative. We're, we are raising money to donate to the Hero Initiative. We're going to talk a little bit about what that is and how Keith is uh, involved with that. Um, all auctions are going to be starting off at 99 cents. And our start time is 7 p.m. Eastern. So uh, getting into that a little bit, what is your relationship with the uh, Hero Initiative and uh, what does it mean to you? Well, I mean, the Hero Initiative is uh, so important to the creators that work in the comic book industry. Uh, a few years ago, let me think of the date now. It was July 2nd of uh, 2016. I was in the White Mountains in New Hampshire. Uh, hiking with uh, family and friends and i was helping my my younger son down a decline from the top of a mountain and i slipped and i basically fell off the mountain hmm. so it was uh it was a tough day at, in the white mountains let me tell you <laughs> I, bro I broke my leg pretty badly and uh it was a whole mountain rescue they had to come in and get me and bring me to the hospital it was nine hours uh that's get, uh, uh that's pretty scary did your did your son have to leave by himself to go get help while you were no, there, I mean, luckily we were with friends and and some family. Okay, they, they took my my kids and uh, helped them down the mountain, and I uh, waited for the rescue to to reach me and carry me down. Uh, long story short, you know, uh, a few days later, I am immobilized at home. I'm waiting for a surgery, 
and my phone rings and it's Jim McLaughlin from the Hero Initiative. And he's like, hey, I, you know, I heard you were in an accident. Just wanted to reach out and let you know if we can do anything for you, you know, to uh, let us know. And I'm like, ah, Jim, I'm fine. It's okay. You know, I got this, this lag, but I got it all covered. I'll be fine. Um, turns out I wasn't fine. Hmm. Uh, you know, my surgery was delayed. Uh, I was immobilized for much longer than I thought I was going to be. And then after surgery, it took me a lot longer to recover than I had anticipated. And when you're a freelancer and you're not able to work, mm -hmm. you're not able to earn. Mm -hmm. And so even, you know, it didn't take, you know, terribly long for my savings to uh, go out right out the window, paying the mortgage and everything. And I've got kids to feed. So I, mm -hmm. you know, I thought about it quite a bit and I kind of like, there's that instinct of having pride of like, oh, you don't want to ask for help. Um, but mm. the fact was I was in a bind. I didn't know what else to do. I couldn't work. Uh, I couldn't walk. You know, I could really could only have my leg elevated for a good four weeks. Mm -hmm. So I called Jim back and I said, Hey, listen, you know, I'm, I'm going to, turns out I'm going to need some help after all. And, um, Jim was like, okay, we're here for you. And, you know, within two days, uh, you know, they, they sent me a chunk of money to keep the lights on and to, wow. to pay the mortgage. Yeah, no, it was amazing. It was, you know, so humbling and um, I'm so grateful for what they did for me. And it doesn't even end there because, you know, flash forward a few months and I'm back on my feet. I still can't walk very well, but I'm getting around and I can't find any work anymore. You know, I was out of commission for, I think, just long enough that people stopped hiring me. Mm. And, you know, my, my house was going into foreclosure shortly. You know, I was behind on the, on the mortgage, not able to make any money. And with nowhere else to turn, I, I talked to Jim again. And I said, listen, here's what's going on. I've got these medical bill collectors. Uh, my house is going into foreclosure. I can't find any work. You know, DC's not answering my calls all of a sudden, which was freaky at that time. Um, and, uh, you know, basically Jim said, hey, don't worry. We got you. And, you know, the Hero Initiative, they can't solve all the problems that someone might have, but they definitely helped me to get a handle on the problems and give me time. Uh, they bought me time to heal, basically, and gave me time to, you know, sort of just figure out a game plan on how to solve all these things. And, uh, you know, it was just, it's amazing. Yeah, I no, know. it. It, it it's go ahead. No, I just you know, if he had if he hadn't have stepped in at those two points in my my life and career, uh, I don't know you know if I'd still have my house today. I really don't know what would have happened. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a really good story. And if uh, anybody anybody wants to check out Keith's story, it's actually over on HeroInitiative.org. You got to go to the uh, testimonial section. I'll actually send a copy of it in the chat. Hopefully, you guys can. Click on it if you have any interest or actually maybe copy it and paste it. But um, he is actually one of, I think, 12 creators who they helped out this year. And uh, he's got a pretty good testimonial over on uh, the Hero Initiative. Dot, or actually, HeroInitiative.org. Um, yeah, that's uh, that can be really, really scary. Nobody knows what's going to happen in those types of situations. Uh, from what we understand is that... Uh, creators back in the day they didn't really have like a you know a pension set up or any kind of uh, a safety net or anything like that um do you think the industry is a little bit better has, has some of that gotten a little bit better for creators today or is it still kind of challenging oh i think it's definitely still kind of challenging um on, on one level when you have creative people we're not always the best when it comes to to money management or business affairs or mm -hmm. planning ahead for retirement i think there's a um definitely a better awareness of things that we need to do in order to be able to, you know, basically stop working someday and not be homeless. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's still some work to be done. And I know the Hero Initiative, they help a lot of people uh, in situations where they, you know, help them buy groceries every month or, um, you know, just little odds and ends that people can't seem to afford. But we definitely, you know, there's still no pensions. There's still no 401ks in the freelance world. It's something we have to fund ourselves. And there's work to be done there to raise awareness and knowledge of how to do that.
Yeah, for sure. Maybe I gotta maybe I gotta get you guys a financial peace university or something from Dave Ramsey. Uh, send it to everybody, <laughs> something like that. Um, yeah, that can be that can be pretty challenging because you're basically uh, probably a 1099 and doing you know doing your own type of taxes maybe four times a week or, or four times a year or something like that. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I, I definitely uh, appreciate the Hero Initiative and what they offer because I think all of us have this. Uh, emotional or, you know, sentimental attachment to uh, comics and the creators that were involved in creating our, uh, you know, favorite characters. So um, if anybody's watching this on the rewind after we go live, definitely check out the hero initiative.org. Uh, you guys know that we're going to be raising money again this Sunday. Um, and also, if you see these guys at conventions and shows, uh, give them a little donation. I know a lot of them actually have little donation buckets and stuff like that, where they're always trying to raise money. And uh, just put in a little something because I believe that it really goes a long way. I think that um, the Hero Initiative, if I'm not mistaken, is probably the only organization that helps out comic book creators. Um, so uh, I know you got to get going here soon, but real quick, you got a couple people, a couple fans in the in the uh, chat. Comments for all people says thank you for what you do. Um, oh, and then, that's so nice. Thank you very much. Yep. And then he says thank you again. Sith says uh, amazing people for an amazing cause. Uh, Comics with Bueller says, uh, hello, gentlemen, looking forward to tomorrow night. Um, Comics with Bueller is a pretty big YouTuber. Uh, he helps out the community as well as as well as uh, creators. So thank you guys for those comments. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably wrap this up here, uh, Keith. I'm going to go ahead and let you get going. But let's go ahead and give, do you have any closing thoughts or shout outs that you want to give? Well, I just, you know, I'd like to wish everyone a happy holiday and say if you if you want to give, you know, to a charity this holiday season, you can't find a better one if you're a comic fan than their hero initiative. I mean, you know, like everyone said, there are so many testimonials on their website of people that have helped. Uh, and, and then also so much work that they don't trumpet or they don't talk about that they do behind mm -hmm. the scenes that no one ever hears about. And I think the, you know, one of the most amazing things about the hero initiative is I never ask for anything back. Mm. You know, they've never once asked me for, you know, to repay a dime, um, you know, I mean, the most they've ever said is, hey, would you mind writing us a testimonial if you have time? Mm. Or would, you, or would you mind, you know, talking on a YouTube channel if you have time? Uh, unbelievably generous. And if you can help out, uh, please do. I know I will. Yeah. And I can see that right away. You've been very cooperative and, and replying back very quickly. And I personally, I really, really appreciate that. You've actually been a very big help, not only to me, but hopefully to the hero initiative as we go forward. Um, go ahead and get in a couple plugs before I let you go uh, so that people know where to reach you at. Uh, your Facebook page is uh, Facebook at, what is it? The oh, yeah. Facebook.com slash the Keith Champagne. Uh, on, on Instagram, I'm the pretentious Keith Champagne. And I'm just Keith Champagne on Twitter. So if you guys want to follow me, I really enjoy interacting with readers and uh, especially at you know, conventions or on social media. Whenever I have the chance, I love to chat. So uh, let's talk sometime. Absolutely. You guys, make sure you check out Keith at all his uh, social media sites and make sure you give him a follow and, and a like. Keith, uh, that's all that I have, man. I know you got to get going. Thank you so much for your time. Um, hey, thank you. you have I a very merry, it. absolutely. You have a very merry Christmas and a happy new year. And uh, I'll see you on the social medias. Okay, man. Take care, man. Thanks so much. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, so that's uh, Keith uh, Champagne. He's uh, pretty big. He's got a, <laughs> he's in a lot of stuff. I had to kind of look him up on uh, comic book data uh, DB because I haven't been into the comic books for very long. Uh, I know in the '90s I was in it, but then I took about 20 years off and got back into it recently. And uh, if you guys go to Wikipedia and put in Keith Champagne, I know that right now comic book database they're actually updating their website, so it's actually. It might be impossible to get into it directly, but if you go to Wikipedia and put in Keith Champagne, he has a direct link to his um, his 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 a link that's associated with him that that's uh, gives you access to everything that he's been involved with writing, penciling, and writing, and he's done a lot of stuff. Like he said, he's done Stranger Things recently, which I had no idea. I didn't. I seen Stranger Things from the. Uh, Netflix, but I never bought the comic books. And I and I almost come close because we know how we are with those first appearances. You want to get the first appearances of characters um, and stuff like that. And I really need to go back and get Stranger Things 
uh, number one from Dark Horse because it is a first appearance. But he was actually the writer. No, he was the inker on that. He was the uh, writer for Ghostbusters, The Other Side. And he also worked on the Green Lantern Corps, Dark Side of Green. He did some of the artwork in that. So check him out. I'm going to go ahead and put his uh, links up here one more time. You can find him at Facebook.com slash the Keith Champagne. You can also find him on Twitter at Keith Champagne. And then also, let's not forget Instagram at the pretentious <laughs> Keith Champagne. So big, big shout out to him and the Hero Initiative for setting that up uh, because uh, we definitely want to help creators as much as we possibly can. Let me go ahead and see what's going on in the chat real quick before we wrap this up. Uh, I Oh, comments for all people. I, I don't think he has a YouTube channel because he didn't mention it. Uh, Maybe I'll send him an email and ask him if he does. I know he's probably very busy. He probably doesn't have a whole lot of time to do YouTube videos, but we'll see. And uh, I don't know. Actually, you know what? That might be a good question for you to ask him as well. Go ahead and follow him on Twitter and make sure you ask him. Um, but that's about it, you guys. Let me just give you guys just a really quick reminder. Uh, this Sunday is going to be week two for the Comic Book Community Charity Auctions, our second annual uh, last year, we raised a little over $10,000 for the Here Initiative. This year, we've already raised $2,000, and I hope to continue uh, as we get into the next uh, couple of weeks that are left. All auctions are going to be starting off at 99 cents, and it's going to be here on YouTube at Strictly Comics, 7 p.m. Eastern. All right. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You know how it is. You guys have a great week and a great weekend. I will talk to you guys again this Sunday. Take care, everybody. Bye.